Hello, I'm Indira Mukherjee. I tell stories. I've collected lots of stories and I have been telling stories to so many children and adults all over the country. Now, I want to tell you, these are all stories. Just have a look. These are all stories from different parts of this beautiful world. Today, I'm going to narrate a folk tale, a story about two sisters. This is Puchki. And this is Chutki, Butchki and Chutki. These two sisters, they lived by the side of a forest. They lived with their mother. Their father, he was extremely happy when he was in the jungle. He would collect seeds in the jungle and then he would start planting trees from one place to the other in the country in his own country and outside the country and he loved planting trees and he kept on planting trees. Sometimes he would not come back home for a year or two and then he would come back home and Butchki and Chutki would be so happy to see their father. Butchki and Chutki, they lived with their mother. They lived by the side of a forest, a deep forest. There were thousands and thousands of trees, big trees and small trees, small bushes and small plants. There were so many birds in the forest. Butchki and Chutki, they would start running and running into the jungle. They would enter the jungle and Chutki, she would climb up trees and she would hide, you know, they would play hide and seek and Chutki would hide behind a tree and just be there. And Butchki would search for Chutki. Chutki! Like that. She would go on calling her sister and suddenly Chutki would appear from behind the tree and would do boom! And Butchki would be absolutely startled. And then she would break into a laughter. She would say, oh, Chutki, all the time you startle me. And sometimes what Butchki would do, you know, Butchki would slowly go towards the tree. She would know that this is the tree behind which Chutki is hiding. So Butchki would go and before Chutki could do bo, she would do bo. And Chutki, you know, she was about to bo. <gasps> Like that she would do and they would burst out into laughter and then they would play. Butchki and Chutki's mother, she was very hard working. The whole day she would work in the in different households as a helping hand. So Butchki and Chutki, they would wait for their mother to come back in the evening and then the mother would come back in the evening buying rice or some cereals, some veg vegetables. The mother would bring the food item. Chutki and Butchki and mother, they all would eat together. And suddenly, Chutki would start singing. La la pumashe, kopi o yali, duri popa moha. Mumu bhebi she, kero mo lai, loho mo garo ma. And Butchki would laugh. What are you singing, Chutki? What are you singing? You're making your own song. Leli po ma shi, roki mo kala, juju bo lai mi. Her mother would laugh. What are you singing, Chutki? What are these words? We don't understand. Riri go pula, mohami kali, jiji po pori hu. Like keep on singing, you know, Chutki would keep on singing. She would create her own song. She would create her own words. And sometimes it would happen, it would so happen that there would not be much food. And so the mother would pretend that she had already eaten. She would say, Oh, Butchki and Chutki, I am so full. You know, I had gone to work in different houses and they gave me so much. 
and I am full. I can't have any more. Oh, I just want to go off to sleep. And Butchki, Butchki would look at the food and she would feel, oh, it's so little. She would say, I am also so full. Actually, I am not full, but my stomach is not feeling all right. I have a stomach ache, so I can't eat. Chutki, you eat. And Chutki said, you won't eat. Both of you, you don't want to eat. No, we, we can't eat. Okay. And then she would start eating, relishing the food and looking at mother, looking up at Butchki and looking up at mother. And then she would say, it's so nice. You both of you, you don't want. No, we don't want. You have. And they would look at Chutki with so much affection in their eyes. You have. One day, while eating, Chutki looked up and she found mother and Butchki. They were not looking at her. They were looking at the food. And that day suddenly Chutki realized that Butchki has become very thin. She hasn't eaten for so many days. She has become so thin. And then Chutki stopped laughing. She thought, what has happened to Butchki? She hasn't eaten for two, three days. She has become so shriveled. She has become so thin. And then Chutki felt very sad. She also stopped laughing. Chutki started thinking. She kept on thinking. She did not sleep the whole night. Butchki and mother, they were very hungry and they had, they had not eaten for days together. So they, they were just lying there, trying to sleep. And Chutki, she came out in the open. She kept on looking at the sky. Millions and thousands and millions of stars in the sky. And she was thinking, are you hungry too? the stars do you feel hungry she kept on thinking then suddenly she entered she went to Butchki she said Butchki Butchki you wake up and Butchki was as it is she had not eaten for days and she was so hungry and she was fast asleep she got up she said what happened Chutki why are you calling me the sun hasn't yet appeared why are you calling me Butchki, be silent. You just come with me. Come with me. And she took Butchki outside their house. And then Chutki said to Butchki, look, these two earthen pots. So we have to fill in water and we have to go into the forest. Before the sun rises, we have to reach. We have to reach somewhere deep in the forest. And then Butchki, she was looking at Chutki. And then she felt something was very different about Chutki. Chutki is looking very different. Then she also filled in the earthen pitcher and then they put them on their heads and then they went into the forest. Chutki went ahead and then Butchki followed Chutki. Then they came to a spot where there, are, there was an empty space. So Chutki sat down there and she said, Butchki, you do one thing. You pour water from one pitcher on me. You pour water and then I will become something else. And whatever you see, you just take them. And then pour water from the second pitcher. Again, I will turn into Chutki. Do that. Butchki was so... She said, what is this? What is? Why should I pour water on Chutki? I just don't know. Chutki said, please do it. And then she just sat there and she closed her eyes. Then Butchki said, okay, let me do that. And then she started pouring water on Chutki. And what happened? Chutki's arms began to move upwards. And slowly branches started appearing, coming out of her hands. And slowly she became a tree. What a beautiful tree, a big tree. And there were so many flowers with different colors. 
all kinds of colors. The colors which you see in this earth, all the colors you will find on those flowers. And Puchki was looking at the tree as if the whole tree was laughing, as if Chutki was laughing. And then she remembered what Chutki had said, whatever you see, you take them. So she climbed up the tree with lots of care, very gently. She climbed up the tree and then she started plucking the flowers, very gently. With lot of care, she started plucking the flowers. Beautiful colors, all different types of colors. And she just... Beautiful fragrance. Then she climbed down with all the flowers. And then she splashed the water. She threw the water from the second pitcher on the tree. And gradually the tree started becoming chewed. She turned into Chutki and Puchki said, Chutki, Chutki said, we don't have time. Let's pick up the flowers and let's go back home as fast as possible. And Puchki said, why? No, no, quickly, quickly. They gathered all the flowers and then they started running towards their home. And then Chutki said, Puchki, listen, don't tell anybody about this. This is our secret. Don't tell anybody. Puchki was very surprised. She said, we can tell our mother. She said, no, no, mother will be very worried. Don't tell her. Later we will tell her. Not now, not now. And then they reached home. And the mother was about to go out. She just stopped. She said, you had left early in the morning. I didn't see you going. Chutki Puchki said, yes, yes, we had gone into the... Look, so many flowers we had... Where did you find these flowers? Beautiful flowers. Chutki said, yes, Vuchki, yes, we had found, we found a tree and, isn't it Vuchki? Yes, yes, yes. And the mother was looking at both of them. Puchki said, yes, yes, there was a tree in the garden. Garden? No, no, there was a tree in the forest. And then the mother left for work. And then they made garlands out of those flowers. Ten, eleven garlands. Then they took the garlands to the palace. They wanted to sell those garlands to the queen. There was, a, there was the guard who was standing over there and he said, Hey little girls, where are you going? They said, no, we want to sell these flowers. We want to sell these garlands to the queen. Please let us go in. And then the guard said, okay, you go. Really beautiful flowers. And then they went in and then they went straight to the Queen Mother. Queen Mother, they started calling her Queen Mother. Queen Mother, we have brought some garlands for you. And the Queen was so fascinated with those garlands. She said, beautiful, I will buy all the garlands. She bought all the garlands and then, then she gave them some gold coins. They rushed. To the market they bought some rice many vegetables rice and then they came back home and then they started cooking food before mother comes we have to prepare our meal they were so excited when the mother came back very tired and exhausted the mother said today i'm not feeling all right i can't have food chutki said look there so much food we all can have Chutki, Buchki and Mother, three of them, they started having their food. There was so much of happiness. Mother said, what did you, how did you get the money? They said, no, no, we, you have seen those flowers? We made garlands and the Queen Mother, she bought all the garlands. And the mother was also very happy. So they all, they had their fill and they were so happy and then they fell into a deep slumber. There in the palace, the prince, he came to his mother, said, beautiful flowers, but I have never seen these flowers. Who got you these flowers? The queen said, I bought those garlands from two little girls. The prince was very suspicious. He said, 
I have never seen this kind of flower. I have been to the forest so many times, but I have never seen. He was thinking, he was suspicious. After two, three days, when Chutki and Buchki again came with garlands, the prince followed them. When they were going back home, the prince followed them. He saw their house and then he waited nearby. I want to see where these two girls go, he was thinking. And after every day, you can't turn into a tree. It's very painful. Every day it is difficult. So after three, four days, when Chutki and Buchki started going towards the forest in the morning, the prince, he followed them into the forest. And then he saw everything, whatever happened. He saw how Chutki became the tree. Then he came back to the palace. And he said to his mother, I want to marry the younger sister, the flower girl. Yes, I want to marry her. And the queen was very happy because the prince didn't want to marry. She was so happy, she called out. She said, okay, you call these two little girls, you call their mother. Puchki and Chutki's mother, she came to the palace. She was thinking, why did the queen call me? She was a little apprehensive. She was very frightened. She came and when she heard that the prince wanted to marry her daughter, Chutki Puchki's mother, she was very worried and she was very frightened. The prince can marry any princess. Why my daughter? But the queen said, no, my prince wants to marry your daughter. And you know, when the queen wants something, when the prince wants something, it happens. And so Chutki got married. She got married and she came into the palace. At night, the prince said, Chutki, you turn into a tree. Chutki was surprised, she was shocked. She said, how do you know? I had seen you turning into a tree. Chutki said, that is why he married me. Okay. The prince took her to the garden and there he brought two earthen pitchers. He filled them with water and then the, he poured water on Chutki. Slowly Chutki turned into a tree. Beautiful flowers, different colors, beautiful fragrance. And the prince also very carefully, he plucked those flowers, very carefully. He plucked those flowers. In the morning, the prince went to the forest for hunting. And then the princess, the sister, she came to Chutki and she said, my flower sister-in-law, she started calling her flower sister-in-law, my flower sister-in-law, come with me to the garden. We will play together. She was very happy. She took Chutki to the garden. Chutki was also very happy. She was thinking, let's go to the garden and let's play. They went into the garden and then she said, flower sister-in-law, you turn into a tree. I want to see you turning into a tree. Chutki was so shocked. She said, how do you know? And she said, no, at night I had seen you turning into a tree. Such beautiful flowers. I didn't know that you can turn into a tree. Please be a tree. Please turn into a tree. Otherwise, I won't eat. I won't go back to the palace. I will sit here. Ah, I will tell everybody that you can become a tree. I will tell everybody. I will tell your secret to everybody. Chutki said, okay, bring water in two earthen pitchers. Yes, yes, I've kept them. I've kept them here. She had already kept those two pitchers filled with water. Then Chutki sat there and started pouring water. Every day it's so difficult to be, to become a tree. It is very difficult. Chutki, very slowly she was turning into a tree. She was turning into a tree. Branches started 
appearing so many flowers and then the princess she started clapping she started clapping and her friends who were far away they they could hear the princess clapping they started running towards this garden they all came running to the princess they said what a beautiful tree such beautiful flowers they were all so mesmerized so fascinated with the tree and then they started climbing up the tree they started climbing up they started jumping on the tree they started breaking the branches they started plucking the flowers with full force and the princess started saying don't do this don't do this she's my sister in law <laughs> they were laughing she's your sister in law how can she be your sister in law this is a tree and nothing else come down come down she was started crying and all those friends they broke the branches and then they started climbing down they said why are you crying so much we always play like that the princess said now let me let me try from the second earthen pitcher see she threw water at the tree and the tree started becoming chutki very slowly gradually but chutki could not even stand there she fell on the ground her neck was broken all over her face there was blood her hands were all had deep cuts all the all her hair as if somebody had pulled out her hair she just was lying on the ground on the grass she could not even stand then the friends the princess she was crying and all the friends they just ran away from there and then the princess she picked her up she brought her to the palace she called the doctor the doctor came in the prince came what have you done what have you done you had asked her to become a tree she said yes yes and my friends yes i know now what to do the doctor came in the doctor was examining her the doctor was giving her medicine nothing happened should she just lay there helpless then the prince he sent somebody to call buchki buchki came running to the palace she saw chutki and she was she said you made her a tree and then you hurt her the prince said i haven't done that i haven't done that you know my sister by mistake she did that and all her friends they did not know buchki then she said no no medicine will work i will carry my sister to the garden she carried her sister to the garden she kept her there and then she poured water on her and chutki started becoming tree again she said let her become a tree again let all her branches appear let all the flowers again bloom and then she will turn into my sister butchki started living with chutki tree and she would sing that song la la pu ma she kopi o yali duri po pa mo ha mu mu be bi she kero mo lai lo ho mo ga ro ma she had also learned how to sing just like chutki she started creating words and the leaves would fall on her head and she would feel as if chutki was touching her head and like that and then suddenly their father came back 
When the mother heard about that, the mother started crying and she said, I will take my daughter once she turns into Chutki, I will take her home. I will not allow her to stay in this palace. And then their father came back. The father came rushing to the garden. He found little daughter turned into a tree. He said to Buchki, you have done the right thing. Now, when all the flowers would bloom and then she would again be our Chutki. And then after one year, it took a year and then they threw water on her and slowly the tree became Chutki again. And the father said, now I will plant this tree. He had collected all the seeds from the flowers. He said, now I will plant this tree all over the place, all over this earth, this beautiful earth. And Chutki said, I will also go with you. Buchki said, I will also, this time I will also come with you. Mother said, of course, I will also come with you, all of us. And the prince said, I will also come with you. He also wanted to plant trees all over this earth. So they all started. They all went into a long journey, planting trees all over this beautiful earth. Perhaps somewhere they are still planting trees. Perhaps.